The Mormon Revival has been so rich. Um, it has talked about the washing of each other's feet. Um, do you all remember when the Lord washed the disciples' feet? What does that mean to us in our experience? So let me read some of this to you. Um, it says here, um, yes, that when we wash each other's feet, we need to lay aside the garments of our attainments, right? Um, so here in today's reading, each of us must learn how to love the brothers and sisters by ministering the spiritual food washing to them. Sometimes when I come to visit you, you can minister some sort of food washing to me by showing your love toward me. And I have to show the same love toward you so that some food washing will be ministered to you to cleanse you from the earthly touch. We must do this, otherwise the fellowship between us could not be maintained. Fellowship can be maintained between one another only when love ministers such a food washing. So love is a key. More than 25 years ago, when I was working with the leading co-workers such as Brother Watchman Nee and others, I received much help by this kind of food washing from them. Every time I contacted them, I sensed some sort of food washing to keep me clean from the earthly touch. They loved me and showed their love to me by ministering the spiritual food washing to cleanse me from the earthly touch. We can summarize the foul feet with a few words, stillness in fellowship with the Lord. Clean feet, however, denote fresh fellowship with the Lord. How many can say today that they can treasure the Lord and love the Lord as much as they did five or ten years ago? Many people have to say that they do not have the same feeling that they had a year ago. Their feet are defiled and they have become weary. This is spiritual weariness. It is a loss of spiritual freshness and vitality. Food washing means recovering our former feelings, bringing us back to the freshness of life and giving us fresh strength to treasure what the previously treasured, what we previously treasured. Thank the Lord that he washes our feet all the time and we need to wash each other's feet all the time. Today, many believers in Christ have become stagnant in their spiritual growth. They sing, praise, and pray reluctantly. Sometimes this is the result of sin, but many times this is not the result of any sin. They simply have defiled feet, and they have become spiritually enervated. The definition of the adjective enervated is drained of energy and vitality. We have to realize that the Lord wants us to be fresh all the time, energized and vitalized. This is why he says that he leads us to the green pastures. The Lord wants us to be fresh every day. We may have been yellow yesterday, but we can be green again today. We may have been yellow this morning, but we can be green this afternoon. Green, 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 green pastures. Right, like these green pastures. The Lord is fresh, running water. He does not flow for five minutes and then stop. He flows continuously, daily, monthly, and yearly. There's not a minute in which He's short. He's always fresh, and He's constantly refreshing us. This is the life that the Lord is leading us to live. Here is power, joy, peace, and holiness. Only by living this way can we express the Lord's life. After the victory at Jericho, there's still the victory of at A. After great victories, there are still small daily victories. This should be our daily exper experience before the Lord. Let us wash each other's feet by ministering love to one another. And here's the further reading. Um, a young man in God's plan, chapter one. 